Recently, in one of my videos, I showed how to turn an old laptop into a Chromebook with the help of FidoS. But today, I will go further and show you how to play modern games with the help of the same FidoS. I want to warn you right away that for this, you must have a gaming PC. Uh, yep, yeah, literally, you must have a gaming PC and then we will be able to stream those games on our device with low latency. And the key for this is low latency, because the response will be quite fast. I mean, super fast. For example, it can be useful if you want to play a game or get a full remote control to your gaming PC and you don't want to disturb anyone in the house. Sometimes even I work in the kitchen. The big advantage of this method is that we don't need to buy a new gaming PC, especially to play modern games, because we can just stream from our gaming PC to our device, which is convenient. I will do all manipulation on Lenovo ThinkPad X240 laptop. This laptop is quite old. It has Intel Core i5 processor of 4th generation, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of SSD. So literally this is not that powerful computer, not that powerful laptop. However, we can use this laptop as a power machine with the help of gaming computer, of course. So let's get it started. So friends, let's get into it. As you can see, we are in Windows 11. And first of all, I want to show you the specs of my system. So as you can see, I have the latest version of Intel Core i5 processor. Literally, it has 10 cores and 16 threads. If we navigate to the device manager, RTX 3060 GPU. So in my case, it's a good GPU for Full HD gaming. First of all, we need to install application on a gaming PC. So you just need to type sunshine download press enter and you need to navigate to this website github link i will leave in the video description after that you need to scroll down a little bit until you will see assets here we can download the version of sunshine for our operating system as you can see we can download it for linux debian fedora etc but i have a windows pc so we need to find windows x file sunshine windows portable zip and sunshine windows installer.x so this is exactly what i need click on it now we need to install this application to so just click on it in this window click on next i agree i recommend to install it by default to c drive click on next check all of the boxes and click install voila we successfully installed sunshine now we can close this window so fellas, as you can see, this is the legendary Lenovo ThinkPad X240 laptop and we have a FIDOS already installed on this device. This is a great operating system. As I said earlier on my channel, you can watch a video on how to install FIDOS and make your laptop great again with FIDOS. Literally what we're going to do, we're going to stream from gaming PC to this device, but with low latency, which is great. So firstly, we need to install Moonlight. This utility will allow us to connect to the gaming PC. I will open Play Store. For people who don't know, in short, FidoS is a Chinese version of Chrome OS Flex. It looks the same, but the main difference between Chrome OS Flex and FidoS is Google Play Store. So you can use Google Play Store and install Android apps. What I'm going to do right now. So in the search, you need to type Moonlight. Press enter. Yes, this is exactly what we need. Moonlight game streaming. Click install. Installation process completed. Now we can click on open. First time when you will use this app, it will require you to enter IP address, the same IP address which used by gaming PC. So you can easily find this IP address in the system settings of your operating system. Just navigate to the system, network and internet, Wi-Fi, and voila, you will find your IP address. Of course, I will blur my IP, but I will show you how to enter it. As I said earlier, you need to enter your IP address or you can click here on plus and you can manually type your IP. Then you just need to press enter and then you will see your desktop. Before proceeding to the next stage, of course, I recommend 
to set up your system. In our case, we're going to set resolution, bitrate, and frames. So you need to click on the settings. In video resolution, it will all depend on you. If we're talking about this laptop, it has HD matrix, so there will be a point to use HD resolution. But if you have a full HD, literally 1080p, you can click here and it will suit your device. In my case, I will select HD resolution. So the lower resolution, the worse quality you will get, but the higher resolution, the higher bitrate, the quality will be much better. But there will be high probability that it will work not that smoothly. So in my case, as I said earlier, I will leave HD resolution. Literally, this laptop has HD 60 Gertz matrix. I will leave 60 FPS. And in the video bitrate, I recommend to leave everything by default. By the way, 10 megabits is more than enough for HD resolution. If you selected full HD resolution, it will be uh, like 20. So you need to balance and find the middle. Actually, after all this process, you can just click here. Finally, you need to click on your desktop and you will see a specific pin, a specific four numbers here. Remember those numbers because it is very important and you need to enter these numbers on your gaming PC. Again, let's go back to our gaming PC. We need to run Sunshine one more time. And it will automatically navigate us to this website and yep, you will see your connection is not private. Honestly, don't worry about that. You will run everything through your computer and through your network. So you need to click on advanced and select this option. Then you need to create a username or you can leave it by default. For example, I will type user and you can create a random password. It all depends on you. You can even use numbers without words. Confirm password. Click login. It will reload the page. Now you need to one more time enter username and password, which you created. Click sign in. The most important moment in this video, you need to click on pen and enter the number which you saw on your device in Moonlight Utility. Those four numbers. In my case, it is 4480. Click send. Believe it or not, but now we can stream from gaming PC to this Lenovo ThinkPad laptop with low latency. Moreover, to make this video more interesting, I will connect my gamepad GameSeer T4 Pro and we will try to run some modern games on this device. So you can judge for yourself. Of course, the last step, we need to click on desktop. And now I have a full remote control of my gaming PC. So let's run some games. So some comments on this video. At the moment, I will close the moonlight to improve the quality. As I said, if you use HD resolution, it will be not that great as Full HD. So I will run one more time Moonlight, navigate to the settings, and I will try to change resolution to 1080p, 60 FPS, and as I said earlier, 20 megabits of bitrate is more than enough. So let's try to run it again. We just need to click on desktop. Let's go back. Before we proceed, I will connect my gamepad. Games here, T4 Pro. I successfully connect my gamepad. Everything worked without any problems. So I want to remind you that this laptop has only 4 gigabytes of RAM, SSD drive which has 128 gigabytes, and it has Intel Core i5 processor of fourth generation. So. It's not that powerful laptop, but if you have a gaming PC and you don't want to buy a new gaming laptop, you can use this method. We're playing The Last of Us without any problem or issues. I will try to change the angle to make it more convenient. So, yep, I changed the angle. This is the main sensor. I want to mention that this laptop don't have a that great matrix. It has only HD matrix. It's not IPS. So, yep, the picture may be not that great. But if you have an IPS matrix, it will look much better. And I said graphic settings to maximum 
I think ultra graphics settings with uh, DLSS on. It's set to quality DLSS. Let's check. Yep. As you can see, this is RTX 3060. It has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And we have high graphics settings. Sorry, high graphics settings. Some of them set to ultra. In general, it's only high graphics settings. So in general, that's how everything looks from our perspective. This is monitor of the gaming PC, and this is a laptop that we use for remote control with a low latency. Of course, here the picture will be more smoothly with a better quality because this monitor support high refresh rate, like 144 Hz, and this only supports 60, and we're using trimming. Okay, I just turn off the sound because I don't want to have any problem with copyright claim. I don't want to have a copyright strike. In my opinion, this is a great method to use your old laptop if you want to play modern games and you don't want to pay money for cloud gaming. Obviously, it's it's very good decision. It's a very good choice. I know many people have a gaming PC and they have thoughts on buying a new gaming laptop. I think it's not necessary to buy a gaming laptop if you have a gaming PC. If you want to have a second computer to play games, you can use this method. As I said earlier, the only thing I recommend to buy a laptop with much better matrix, with IPS matrix, and it will be great. Of course, don't buy a laptop with an Intel Celeron processor or Intel Pentium. In some cases, it will depend on your CPU. You. So I do not recommend to use a potato. As you can see, everything works without any issues. If this video was helpful, please like it. Also, you can support the channel by buying something from the links in the video description. Also, I recommend watching this video on how to install FidoS on your laptop or PC.